How's everybody doing? Critical mass for the 25th. Peanut's sleeping. Peanut's kind of wiped from the weekend. We're back in. We're back in the apartment. And uh, watching some football. I'm just chilling with the dog. Here. Just chilling with the peanut. Here. She is adamant. It was a fun weekend. It kind of gets a little depressing coming back. It's nice having people to talk to for a couple days. And you know what? I really didn't leave. I didn't do anything. I didn't call anybody. We, we went to see, we saw uh, two movies. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk about it. Yeah, I saw um, Silver, Lining, Silver Lining Playbook, and it kind of felt like it was being, I was watching an autobiographical movie in a way. And I met a really cool girl next to me. Well, I gave my information to was 29 years old was told she was too old to uh, she, she I kept you know you, you over here people talk but she was I could tell she was in a movie and yes I just had a vibe I'm always good at having a vibe about people and I just could tell this girl was talented or just wasn't doing what she was she looked like a quiet girl and after the movie I just started talking to her told her maybe I'm a movie and that I'm 43 and you know People tell you, you know, you're too old to this. She goes, yeah, I was told at 29 that I was too old to, like, work before a film company. I said, don't ever listen to anybody. And she was telling me how she writes a screenplay. And then you get this 4 o'clock in the morning up writing, and you just, it's like the greatest feeling. I go, it's like you're in the zone. She goes, yeah. And I gave her information because I just was like, you know, you never know. You could collaborate with this person. It could lead to something, you know. You never know. I mean, shit like that, you, you never know. And uh, the movie was great. I mean, I'll tell you the truth. The first hour was rough for me to watch, you know. Um, uh, but a guy getting, you know, dealing with, uh, you know, mental health issues and being put on meds and shit and all that. And it was just like, oof, man, shit, that, that's just some crazy shit that you have to deal with. And you're like, you know, it was, it was rough to watch. And the mom in it was phenomenal. She was an animal kingdom, Australian. De Niro, that's the woman next to me said, that's another thing too. She said, you know, I, I usually don't like Robert De Niro. I go, because he's playing De Niro. And she goes, yeah. And he, just great. In a, uh, Bradley Cooper and the girl, oh man, the lead girl from uh, the Hunger Game, Hunger Game Girls. And my, the name's escaping me right now. She was freaking great. Kind of remind me like a uh, Moonstruck kind of movie, but different. But kind of like that Moonstruck, a very f big family structure and everything. And uh, I was really glad I saw it. Really glad because uh, my mom actually wanted to see it. She's the one who was pushing to see it. So we went up to Rockaway, New Jersey, the mall. And uh, I got a little teary. I got teary eyed because I'm just like, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I'm a fuck up, you know. And you know, I'm trying to get my shit together. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was very. I, I highly, highly recommend it to everybody. Uh, and then we tried to watch Red Tails last night, and uh, Andre Roy was in my film was in it. And uh, no offense to Andre or anything, but uh, it was like watching a TV movie shot for a shitload of money with really bad dialogue, which leads to really bad acting. And it just was, it was the cheesiest, it wasn't, the first 10 minutes happened, and we couldn't, we all were like, what the fuck, what, what's going on here? And we were like, sort of like a battle scene, and, you're, and then you don't even get introduced to the characters, and then they're flying around, like, and then the movie's going, and you're like, okay, this makes no sense, and I don't really care what's going on here. And I went back to my, I went back to watch snippets of it, and it just was shit. It was just a bad movie. It's a real bad movie. And, uh, yeah, it was like a big budget movie that could have been uh, a lifetime movie. Not even that. Not even good enough for that. It was, it, was, it was torture. It was torture to sit through. So we shut it off. We actually, uh, we were actually watching, um, Ben Stiller had a movie called, uh, oh man, I can't, you know, I'm just blanking on every movie. The one where he goes into the, the high rise. And uh, with, with uh, Eddie Murphy and everything. Much funny the second time. We were all just laughing. It was just, we were all laughing. That's the thing. When I go home, I just spend time with my parents. You know, I was supposed to meet a girl that I went to high school with that I kind of had a thing for. And I was full. And I didn't really feel like going to a bar. So I texted her and said, I'm sorry. I said, if you go somewhere else. But she never got back to me. I didn't expect it to. You know. <laughs> whatever. You know, whatever. It was cool. Shit happens. You move on. You go on. You do other stuff. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. And, you know, maybe it was a missed opportunity. But you know what? 
if it's meant to, you know, it, there could be another opportunity that could happen too. So we shall see. Um, nah, I don't really care. I'm just babbling now. But uh, Silver Lining Playbook, highly, highly, highly recommend. And I'd love to hear if anybody else sees it, what they think of it. So, uh, yeah, I am, uh, got some leftovers. My mom sent me with a bunch of leftovers. Chocolate pudding cake, I just had a piece of that. I had some hummus on a bagel for food. Try to learn some lines for an audition I have Thursday. I have, I'm tired. I went over them one day, and then boom, 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 boom. More will come in, and boom, 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 boom. I have tomorrow all day to go over it. So uh, that is so freaking good. So, uh, yeah, and I worked out of my parents' apartment this morning. I was going to go to the gym, and I just decided to do uh, I decided to do a workout, and I was running around. I put a TV on for an hour, did some jumping jacks, ran around, and my calves are sore. And it was good to get the workout in. Watching football right now. Giant game tonight. Walking dead tonight. And uh, Peanut sleeping. So uh, Peanut wants to say goodbye. And uh, I love you guys. All right? Hope you all had a really nice Thanksgiving. Okay? He's had a great one. I'm very thankful. Very thankful to have my parents, you know, alive, healthy. And that we, want, I want to, we all want to spend time with each other. It's always nice. We're always, it's always nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I spent the week with my parents. It's sad being, you know, just, it was nice talking to people for a couple of days. Now I'm back in my apartment, so, uh, it's two o'clock. I'm just probably going to fall asleep, take a nap. All right, I'll talk to you.